A review has been ordered into another post office IT system to admit claims of more wrongful convictions. I'm going to read into this exclusive from Sky News, you guys. Let's go. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. This is Regan Lee here with an exclusive from Sky News with the headline of reviewed, ordered into another post office IT system amid claims of more wrongful convictions. The treatment of one sub postmaster who complained about the 1990s software was a mirror image of what the post office did with Horizon victims, an MP has said. Watching the Mr. Bates versus the post office drama led one potential victim to spot similarities with the scandal. Guys, while you're here, make sure you hit the like button and share this across social media so others are notified of this video. We covered the story a while ago. <clears throat> there was a story a while ago about the older, older, uh, older uh, IT systems back in the 1990s and this is this is similar i think this is uh, the same this may be the same one that we talked about potentially about those um about uh those who were wrongfully convicted them and this obviously is can this is obviously may in my opinion is opening up another can of worms to more potential people who may have been wrongfully convicted ah but there also may be another thing it's entirely possible that they need to be absolutely sure that these older uh, 1990s soft, that the older ones uh, definitely have the same issues. Um, and it just, uh, as well, so they need to be sure and they need to be thoroughly investigated and absolutely be sure that, that there were faults and there were issues at the time yeah, of this. Now, we know that the post office have been trying to cover up lots and lots of things. We know there's, there's been a lot of covering up. And these, some of these executives and those in charge have made some nice nice uh, money for themselves and and I'm sure you would agree with me that we would love nothing more for these people to face uh, criminal charges face prison time um I don't think that would happen uh, simply be um simply because of how crap our justice system has been some, has been when it comes to sometimes getting the justice that they deserve um however it is good to see that many people are getting compensation at least at least but it's not really it's not really in my opinion it's not enough just to get compensation when your lives have been destroyed by this your reputation your relationships with people all this because of you just simply doing your job and and because the post office is more concerned about its own reputation rather than than the care and the well-being of the employees that it has under its wing um I've covered so many extensively stories about the post office already and it's 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 this scandal and this is extremely concerning to say the least. Let's read a bit more into this exclusive then. So, the government has agreed to an independent IT expert review of a post office software system predating Horizon. Amid claims of dozen more sub postmasters may have been wrongfully commit, uh, convicted. The captured software was rolled out across branches in the 1990s, years before the notorious Horizon system was introduced. The post office minister, Kellen Hollerack, has met with a former sub-postmaster and a lawyer representing 35 people who believe they were wrongly accused of stealing. So we're talking about predating the Horizon system scandal here, guys. This is a very key point to make. It was agreed between MPs and post office ministers that an independent IT expert would assess evidence claiming to prove capture software was prone to glitches. So this is the 1990 system capture here that they claims that they had issues here as well. So Steve Martinson, 68, believes he was wrongly convicted of theft and false accounting after errors caused by capture accounting software. Auditors found shortfall of £79,000 at his branch at Grantham, Manchester in 1998. He subsequently pleaded guilty to theft and false accounting. A pre-desiccator uh, uh, pre to Horizon, the capture software was developed by the post office and rolled out from 1992. 
Mr. Marson, representing numerous other claims to the victims, met with Post Office Minister Kevin Hollerack in central London. He tearfully told Sky News after the meeting that he was overwhelmed and extremely happy with the way the meeting went. He presented a copy of the original Catchers software, and was shown to, which was also shown to Sky News, in which Mr. Martins described the definitive proof of wrongful convictions. Campaigners discover floppy disks with the software on them dating back to the 90s. Mr. Martinson said that they showed that errors in the system could generate false shortfalls in accounts and believes capture that evidence was used in his prosecution. Neil Hugel, who is representing 35 former sub-postmasters who used capture, said it was a significant meeting with the post office minister. What we are going to do now with the consent of the government and agreeing with the Department of, Tra of Business and Trade, he said, is run past an independent person to stand up in what we say is in the case. It is very similar pattern of the IT glitches that predate the Horizon system for, by a number of years. A former sub-postmaster said it appears errors occurred when upgrades were made to the software in the 90s. Other factors such as power cuts are thought to be another possible reason for the faults. Steve Lewis lost his job in 2000 after raising concerns about shortfalls and capture software glitches. I've always been uh, been looked on as being the man who robbed the post office, he said. I lost my post office at the commercial building that I had moved my office to and I was forced to sell my family home. Mr Lewis claims he was warned not to be a troublemaker and told the issue was only happening to him. Where have we heard this kind of story before? It wasn't until he watched the ITV drama Mr. Bates versus the Post Office until he realised similarities between the Horizon victims and himself, such an unexplained uh, explained losses. Mirror images of what the Post Office did with Horizon. The document seen by Sky News also shows <coughs> that the Post Office new catcher was prone to glitches which could cause accounting issues. In January, the government ordered the Post Office to investigate these claims related to catcher. A Labour MP, Kevin Jones, has taken up the cause and described the case as being a mirror image of what the post office did with Horizon victims. He continued, adding to that, we now got the original computer floppy disk where I think it proves that it does throw up shortfalls. I think that's quite a compelling case to, for these cases to be looked at again and comprehensively awarded. <coughs> uh, home post office spokesperson has said, we are in contact with Steve Martinson and other past users of Catcher, and we are grateful for them for all the information they have so far shared with us. We continue to actively investigate a number of lines of inquiry related to Catcher, and throughout this we have regularly kept the Department of Business and Trade and Kevin Jones MP up to date with our findings. We have now shared a recommendation with the Department about what should happen next, and then hope to provide further information with past users of Catcher as soon as we are able to do so. A Department of Business and Trade spokesperson says, as soon as these accusations came to light, we asked the post office to investigate the catcher system. We are now reviewing all the materials provided to us, including those from the postmasters and the post office, and we will set out our next steps shortly. So another can of worms being opened up here. Um, and it's uh, once again, it's just highlighting not just this scan, not just the system, the Horizon scandal, but Catcher uh, system scandal back in the 1990s. We're talking how, like how many years now are we talking here? Like oh, 2024 now. I mean, what are we talking? 30 plus years? Like it's insane. More than 30 years, of course. Um, that's a massive chunk of people's lives. It's a massive chunk. <sighs> It, it's again like why how did this happen why did this happen once again this is another prime example of those who were in charge at the post office looking to cover themselves cover the reputation and uh of the post office at the expense of innocent employees who love the post office love working for the post office who are proud to be part of it and their lives have been completely destroyed at no fault of their own so Again, innocent people are suffering as, as of no result and no fault of their own. Now, it's entirely possible that some of them may have wrong, may have be, um, it's entirely possible some of them may have taken advantage of the capture system, as it is entirely possible that some may have taken advantage of the horizon system. 
that is entirely possible for the vast majority of those we've learned that those in the horizon system were innocent and it's entirely possible that those within the catcher system, as more information comes to light with this, that many of them were innocent in this as well. So, more frustration to say the least, you guys. But what do you guys make of this cat of the IT system and of the catcher system in the 1990s? What do you make of this exclusive? What do you make of the story behind this? Are we looking at more taxpayer money going towards compensation? Do we think that can any be criminality, not just the Horizon system, but those who were in charge of the catching system in the 1990s as well? Bear in mind, we're talking about more than 30 plus years ago. Let me know your thoughts and more about this story in the comment section down below. If you found this video informative, please hit the like button. We greatly appreciate it. Share it across social media so others are notified of this video. And subscribe because it really does help support the channel. And if you want to go one step further and financially support me in the work that I do here, you can do so by becoming a YouTube member for as little as 99p or join me on Rumble or Patreon for exclusive content there as well. So thank you all so much for watching and I hope to catch you all very, very soon.